So I'm about to break this trade down right now. Where I'm gonna close early. You guys can see right here we're really close to TP, but we're gonna close at around seven hundred and eighty dollar profit on the day. Beautiful trade. You guys can see right here that we didn't have any drawdown right price broke up retested and we took the trade all the way up here we had a couple pips left to reach up this high but fuck it we just secured as you guys just saw right now so watch the vlog and stay tuned at the end deuces good morning just kidding it's the afternoon but we traded this morning Haley's vlogging too we traded this morning, I got smoked this morning, and then I won. I'm gonna break that down for you guys, but we're going to Miami. Other than that, I just hit the gym. Let me show you the food. Yeah, Alex and I are going to So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'm about to just, I'm about to just vlog our trip to Miami. Let me show you all the fit. White tee, ripped jeans, that's really it. Um, so here we go into Miami, I was gonna vlog a little bit, add that into it, a little Miami vlog, see what we get into, the Knicks play tonight, so I'm super hyped. <sighs> ah! And we got a little apartment update. We got, Haley got a flower. And we got these tiles, and we're th thinking of either putting black turf or rug around it. I don't know yet. I don't know, what's the plan for that? Darker tiles around the edges. So no rug or turf? Um, if we really want to get a rug after, we could get like a small one and put it on top. Oh, smart. Right? And then we got these chairs. That I built. That Haley built. And we got these chairs. And we're supposed to get our dining room table, but they literally broke the glass that it comes with. So here's our table. So it's supposed to be there. And then this is next, filling up the living room, putting a couch. I want a nice rug here. I want an anime rug right here. Yeah, I... <laughs> Bro, this our apartment. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the rugs and you're gonna like it. No. Just one, no. at least in the bedroom. <laughs> no, Prada. So we made it to the mall. I had to, had to spoil my baby. Yeah, with what? <laughs> what, you got the bag right there. I'm covering the name. I had to spoil my baby with some Gucci. Came here for Zara because I need dress clothes. I need more dress clothes. I want to look more professional, right? And Zara's the plug, so you're welcome. If you guys don't have a Zara, if you guys have a Zara near you. And yeah. Man, yo, wait till this next payout hits. Boom. Boom. Ain't that right, baby? What are you gonna do me? Oh. So I ain't update y'all. We copped a couple things. Haley got some shit from Garage. Haley, what'd you get from Garage? I got uh, a bodysuit. What'd you say? What'd you say? Um, I got a bodysuit and, oh, uh, like, beach pants. So I haven't bought a new pair of shoes in a while. I've been wearing the same ones. Even though I kind of like to do that. I always like wearing the same shit over and over again. We just copped some regular shoes. Gym shoes, some shoes I can wear with anything. You walk every time I pull my shit out. Well, I just figured I might as well so you don't have to see yourself. <laughs> no fuck. <worry. laughs> what? So, quick cop. I'm going back for the Rolex watches. Okay. Next stop, we went to the mall and now we're going to IKEA. <laughs> it's my first time ever in IKEA. I don't think we have any in Jersey. It's my really. second time. Oh, no, we definitely do. I mean, uh, I think so. I've never seen an Ikea in New Jersey. That, but there's one in Florida. Well, no, I don't think there's an Ikea. There's no... We, we would have heard people say that they are going to Ikea. Any friends, family? When was the last time you heard someone say, I'm going to Ikea? Never. Never. So we're back from Ikea. And we got the tiles we told you about. This was literally just concrete. Um, oh, yeah. So it's the next morning and I literally just never showed you all the tiles. It was just a clip of the tiles and then the day was over. We knocked that after the next game, um, but I'm gonna show you right now. So it's the next morning and I literally just never showed you all the tiles. It was just a clip of the tiles and then the day was over. We knocked that after the next game, um, but I'm gonna show you right now. So 
this is what it looks like in the daytime, which I'm kind of happy I'm showing y'all, but we got tiles down instead of just standing on concrete, which just fucked our socks up, our feet up. Um, and yeah, this is, you know, I'm starting to feel like home now. So we're kind of hype. Right now, all we got to get for the balcony is a co little coffee table and a couple of chairs out. And then the balcony will be done for now. Then we'll probably add lights or whatever. Um, and then operation living room. So we'll give you an update on that. I want a nice black rug. I want a gray couch. TV up against here. Um, little mini desk up against there so we can work a little bit. Um, and yeah. So again, I'm going to be breaking down the trade down that I showed you guys from yesterday. Uh, Actually, the biggest win on top step. I, every time I, I always secured two R, three R, which is around six, six fifty. We secured seven fifty, which so it's not by a lot, but our biggest profit day on top step, right? Again, if you guys aren't familiar with the rules, um, there are different rules. So you actually during the combine or during the challenge, you can't. There's a consistent VPC rule, so you can't make like fifty percent of the profit target. Um, and you know, I can just keep getting deeper on that. If you guys want a whole video on that, I can make one. Good comment, but. Yep, biggest win, 750, we're gonna break that shit down. So, you guys literally saw me secure this trade, right? You guys literally saw me secure this trade. Um, this trade that hit full TPs. Um, now that I'm looking at it, it literally hit TP to a T, dropped, and then hit it again. Um, so, very, very valid entry. And I'm gonna be kind of be breaking it down. Today was kind of a, um, or yesterday, I guess. It, it's kind of a weird, it was a different type of trade. It was one of those days where bias was so hard to figure out. I almost just didn't want to trade, to be honest. Um, I almost just didn't want to trade because it just wasn't clean at all. All right. Um, and this is kind of what I want to show you guys, actually. So just going back to just going back to the daily uh, time frame, right, where we're going to figure out the daily profile and see if we can find a draw on liquidity there. Um, price is so bullish here. All right, price is so bullish, but I don't like how bullish it is. Right? Yes, we could continue to go, or we could pull back. And and when we're in those scenarios, um, you know, sometimes we can figure out where it's gonna go, where our drawing liquidity is at. But in this instance, I didn't know. I didn't know if we had potential pulling back further, or if you know we were gonna continue to push up. So what I genuinely just came up with was that. I didn't think we were gonna pull back anymore. I thought the pullback was over, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly why. And that's because when you go down to the daily time frame, right, and you look at what we have here, um, we had a fair value gap, and this was very key with determining that I was just gonna go long. We had a fair value gap right here on the daily time frame, where you know the Wednesday candle rejected it already, right? So coming into the next day, this morning, right, you know which is not here, um, you know, we already have a rejection. We have this fair value gap. I didn't like the fact that this PDRA was so high, right? Price could have retraced more, but I just took this for what it was. Listen, fair value gap was created and the next day wicked it and closed above. So I was like, you know what? If we lose, we lose, but I'm going to go long because I'm not going to try to short anything here, right? What I wasn't going to do is shorting. And when you can cross out a certain direction, right? Oh, I'm definitely not going to go short today or I'm definitely not going to go long then it makes trading so much easier, right? You get out all these possibilities that could basically roam, mm -hmm. all right? So now we're gonna go into actual timing, right? Where we were when market opened, right? So this is at 10 a.m. We did not take a trade before 10 a.m. So this is basically the market at 10 a.m. So again, the four hour was just so ugly. Yes, I, I, I came up with the fact that the daily was probably gonna go long, right? And then I'm looking at the H4 and it was just so hard to try to long here when you have a rejection here and a rejection here, and rejection here. If you look at this order flow here on the H4 time frame, right? On the H4 time frame, it's bearish. I didn't like that. So it was just so tricky. Today was a, it was a tricky morning, tricky morning. But I was like, you know what? Again, you have to go back to your trading plan, you have to go back to your roots. Fuck that. What's the higher time frames telling you? The daily time frame created that fair value gap. Yesterday we rejected it. Those rejections to the fair value gap is this range, I guess. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go long and I'm going to go long. So I'm going to go long. We're rejecting this fair value but gap again. This four hour candle closed above, even though it's so fucking ugly at 10 a.m. I was like, you know what? We're going to go out on a lower time frame and we're going to see where we can get in. So now we're moving on to 10 o'clock, right? This is 10 o'clock right here, all right? Price was in this fair value gap that I've been talking about this whole time. I wandered along in this fair value gap, okay? So price at 10 a.m. dropped into this, into this fair value gap, this higher time frame fair value gap, 
Okay, so I'm going to look for longs here now, right? I'm going to look for longs here. And the way I'm looking for these longs is after price enters my, my area of interest, right? Because price was up here at 9. Boom, 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 boom. 10 o'clock, it dips back into this fair value gap. Now, again, this is the fair value gap we're trading off on the higher time frame. All right. So now going to 10 in the morning, right? When I'm, when I'm ready to take an entry, when I'm ready to take an entry, I'm going to be marking off my fair value gaps, right? Okay, boom. This is one fair value gap. This is two fair value gaps. So I'm going to expect price, even though price is pushing up, I'm going to expect price to come back down into this level or into this level on the lower time frame and then take that trade to the upside. All right. That's where I'm probably going to be looking. Um, so then price throughout the time breaks through the first fair value gap and rejects the second one. Okay. So I really like this right here. I was kind of worried because if it closed under our trade probably wouldn't have gone through, it probably would have been voided, but we actually held here. So price rejects, rejects, right? So now if price hold, held and starts to break above, right? And give us a market structure shift on the lower time frame. Okay. How do we point that out? Just take your path tool, basic market structure. Boom, 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 boom. And this would be the market structure shift. So again, this is the market structure shift. Price touches into our fair value gas. The price starts to break above. We enter right there. All right, stops are under the, the, usually it's one fair value gap, right? But since we have two, I like to be sure and put it right under, especially because this one got violated. So if this one got violated here, it could get violated again and we could get stopped out if we have it too tight. So I have it a little lower, right? And we targeted our next area of buy side liquidity. And you're gonna see how beautiful how beautifully we went straight into profit. This is a beautiful trade right here, guys. Um, pulled back a little bit, and then price eventually ended up hitting all take profits. Well, I mean, at this point, we can just boom. All right, guys, so it's a beautiful, beautiful trade where price rejects price to the boat. This is the importance of buy side and sell side liquidity, where you know it can help you really pinpoint your targets and not hold and pray for too long. All right, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed that breakdown and little mini vlog.